This means something. This is important. All right, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing, and we're gonna go see that. We are in Devil's Tower, Wyoming, mm -hmm. and this is one of those parts of the trip that I'm really looking forward to. Yes, that in South Dakota. And the campground that we're at, we're gonna be right underneath it. Yep, and hopefully we'll get a site with a good view, fingers crossed. And we will have, I understand, close encounters of the third kind under the stars at yes, this campground. Yes, with so, Devil's Tower in the background. So, so we'll see how that goes. So we are eagerly anticipating our first view of Devil's Tower. Yes. So are you feeling a little close encounters? Yes. Ish? Yes, of the first kind. Of oh, the first kind? Yes. What's the first kind? That would be if I have visual evidence of seeing an anomalous vehicle. Okay. The second kind is what, hearing? No, I think the second kind is when there's actual evidence like say a cow with an anal probe in it or <laughs> some burnt crops or something. All right, and the third kind was? Actual alien encounters. Okay. And the fourth kind was like an abduction, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, we're approaching 100 degrees here in the middle of Wyoming. And back up to 100. Yes. So the sun is very intense here. Sure. Maybe it's not there anymore. Still haven't seen it yet. Except for maybe that glimpse in the distance. We'll see. Maybe at the top of this hill we'll see something because we're four miles away now. The I anticipation is growing. I think right when we come around this bend here where that Class A is right now. It's probably going in the same place we are. Make sure everybody didn't hit their brakes at once. Here it comes. Picture turn out. Well, at least they have a place where you can stop. That is cool. Now I'm just looking for the dead sheep that were supposed to be lying around here. How they didn't get all this uh, gorge stuff on the side here in the movie. I don't remember any of this red rock. That's pretty cool. That is. Point four, the right to the KOA. So this is our first night at the KOA, and we've got a very interesting storm coming in. So here it comes. The wind. The rain. And the lightning is insane. So there is our KOA. So you can see we're right by the gate and it's nine o'clock in the morning. And there's a line, it's not too long, so we're okay with that, but yes, nine o'clock and a line to get in. And you can see over there, just behind that sign, that's where they watch the movie every night. Just to put things into perspective. So definitely recommend getting here as early as you can. Yeah, we'll see if we're too late even with the, as long as we get a parking space, that'll be good. Yes. Hopefully they have a lot of parking. But you know, one of the things that we look upon this trip that I would say that we didn't do well was to get some of like the gas cards, the savings cards, or the fuel cards, all that other stuff. You know, we just bought a KOA membership which gives us 10% off because we've been using KOAs more than we thought. We did get the National Park annual pass though in January at the Fort Matanzas uh, 
National Park or National... That was in St. Augustine. In St. Augustine, yeah, the fourth there. And that was a smart purchase. Yeah, this thing has paid for itself double, triple times over. But yeah, that's just a piece of advice before you plan a big trip to make sure you get all your fuel cards, mileage cards, everything yeah. that you can save money on. And let's see. Limited parking, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Expect a 60 minute wait. Chilling. That that was weird. That was very strange because all you did was take a map and a guide. Yeah. How on earth we we figured we're like, oh yeah, these people are taking a long time. They have credit card payments and they have to get their credit card signed and everything. And that's why they're sitting there for five minutes. Five, five to ten minutes. Some of them. You walk up. You just pick take up a map. Thing. Were they that go. confused? I mean, literally for us, it was a seven to eight second operation. So it's about 9.30 and the parking lot really is filling up. You can see we scored a nice little slot, but I can see by 10 o'clock, like they say, you're done. So you've got to be here before 9, uh, 10 a.m. Yep. So unless you get here at 8 o'clock or earlier than that, don't even bother going through the area around the visitor center because every spot will be full. And but, so, the, but there is RV parking. You there see. is RV parking over there on the street. So don't make the rookie error by coming through here unless you're brand spanking early. So this is a very old core visitor center and it opens at nine o'clock. So people probably are coming in here earlier because they don't have to pay until they exit. And so they're coming in here earlier at eight o'clock or something and just waiting for the visitor center to open or taking the hike early. So we could not have been much later and still have gotten a parking spot. I can just see lines of cars coming through in the visitor center parking lot. It's much pandemonium. <laughs> this is like being at Disney, much less a uh, national monument. Disney a rope drop. Absolutely. We are actually in the shade of Devil's Tower now. It's pretty big. This is that one part about YouTube where we capture the video where there's no one around, making you think that there's no one here, yes. when in fact it's jammed. Absolutely. So at first I thought that this was magma, lava that came up through the earth, kind of formed the shell, and then got eroded and cracked and everything. But actually what happened was this was a tube that was originally covered. It was buried in the ground. In a soft rock that the Belle Forche, I think, it, river, uh, er eroded away. So um, it, it basically eroded the rock around it. Yes, and to expose the harder igneous rock from the magma. And um, so that's where it came from. I did read one YouTube video though, however, whereby people think that this was a giant tree and it's evidence that giants inhabited the earth years ago and this was a tree they could chop down. So. But there is the Indian legend that it was formed by a big bear as well. So we are probably about the halfway mark, maybe a little bit more, but we could see the campground, the KOA that we're staying at. You can see how close it is to the Devil's Tower. And I'm not sure you can quite see the love sub yet, but we're gonna keep an eye out. There are a number of rock climbers climbing Devil's Tower, and it's probably too hard to see. There are little dots up there. But yeah, that's Cindy and I climbed Otter Cliffs. And Acadia. In Acadia, you can see a few of our pictures here. Uh, this is way out of our league. <laughs> yeah. You, do, you are required to have a permit. The National Park Service considers this an acceptable use of Devil's Tower, with the exception of in June, when many of the Native Americans have ceremonial um, activities here, and they ask that you not climb during June. Yep. But we're here in July. So one of the more distinct features of Devil's Tower is called the window. And you can see that up there, and that's where some of those pillars cracked and slid off. I'll have to simulate that with my mashed potatoes. Yes, make sure your mashed potatoes are geologically correct. All right, we've got kind of almost done with our hike. How has it been so far? It's been, it's been hot a little bit. Yeah, but, it's warm. Yeah, it's warmish, um, but it's early. It's not even 11 o'clock yet, so yeah. we believe that the trickle of people will calm down once people are lacking parking. Yeah. But the hike itself, I would say if you're in reasonable shape and you have reasonable shoes, yeah. it's not a big deal. 
yeah, it's pretty easy. So we just finished the hike and my watch is saying it was 2.1 miles long and it took us about an hour to do. And if it was not so hot, it would have been a little easier, but I think it's good. It was fun. So we're here at the gift shop and of course, I need to get a patch for my jacket. Yep. But Cindy, what have you found? Devil's Tower, a Devil's Tower Airstream. I think we'll be spending Christmas in the stream this year, so that might find its way on our stream tree. Absolutely. I guess the lesson is this. Either show up right at 9 o'clock like we did. From 9 to 10 is absolute pandemonium. But it's 11.30 right now. We're heading out and you can kind of see it's uh, there's actually a few spaces. It's not like uh, incredibly crazy. So I think if you show up anytime around 9.30 to 10.30, you're probably going to get crushed. After that, you're good to go. So Sam, what have we stumbled on here? There's a little prairie dog field. So cute. Just like our prairie dog video or prairie dog state park in Kansas that we saw, right? Yep, absolutely. You know, unfortunately, my eyesight's not that great. And when I saw this sign right here, I was like, sweet, buffalo rides. That'll be great. Uh, it says buffalo hides. Yep. Uh-oh. And we'll be at Sturgis next. What'd you find? Yeah, if you're wondering if you can buy a buffalo hide here, yes, you can, but it's two grand, so. Very fluffy. What's the one thing we're going to need for our Close Encounters of the Third Kind movie tonight? We're going to need some homemade popcorn. So I always enjoy making homemade popcorn. And to do that, you do three tablespoons of cooking oil. You just drop that into the pot. So we don't have a microwave or a convection oven or anything like no. that. So. And so we're just going to put a half a cup of kernels in there, but not quite yet. One, two, three. We're going to wait until the oil gets hot enough to put the rest of them in. And the most important thing is you cover your smoke detector with a shower cap or else that puppy's going off. All right, you had your first pop? Yes. So everything goes in? Speak up loud because we got air conditioners and fans and... Just give everything a shake and it's doing something. Just have to give it a shake every now and then. Looks like a movie theater in here. Last ones. That's why you get to choose your toppings too. Alright, let's do it. Alright, turn everything off. We'll see our How about the big reveal? Holy! That's what you get. Good job, C. Yep. Ready for the movie? Yep. Wow, and you didn't burn it at all on the nope. bottom. That's better than when you do it at home. Yep, perfect. Some salt? Yep, some salt. This is actually Himalayan salt. A bit of smoked paprika. Ah, that's always a... That adds some color too. Garlic powder. Everything tastes better with garlic powder. Barbecue seasoning rub. Just give it a toss. Want to try a bit? Oh yeah, that's excellent. The good stuff. Good stuff. So you can see Rich getting our chairs out for the movie. It's already started a little bit, but. We will have a nice setup. We didn't get around to doing a campground review at the KOA. 
but at over $100 a night, the view was definitely worth it. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Devil's Tower and what you like the most. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.